What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds Live, the show where you can get your SharePoint information during the first 60 seconds or so. And then if you decide you want to stick around for all the gory details, then we'll walk you through step by step and show you all those gory details. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here. Please remember to like and subscribe on YouTube. We're also multi-streaming on Twitch um, and Facebook right now. And we're definitely hoping you will follow on and subscribe actually on YouTube. We're looking to get 1,000 subscribers. So thank you. Thank you so much for your support there. Alrighty, so the way we do this is I go ahead and give you a rundown in 60 seconds or less, and then we dig into the gory details. Here we go. So you want to hide list items from other users so that each user can only see their own list item. Well, here's how you do it. First, you're going to go into list settings. From there, you're going to go into the advanced mode. From there, you're going to go to read section, and you're going to make sure you click the thing that says people can read their own items. Then you're going to go down to the edit section, which is right beneath it, and check the box that says people can uh, create and edit their own items. And that's it. Boom. You're in there. You've just now secured your SharePoint list items so that each user can only see their own stuff. So, you want to see how we make it happen with all the clicks and all that jazz? Let's get it. Like I said, we're going to go into list settings. Now that we're in list settings, we're going to go to advanced settings. And we have a couple of sections here we need to change. So right now, everybody can read all items and they can create and edit all items. So all we have to do is change this radio button from read all to read items that were created by the user. And if that's all you want to do, then you're done. But if you want to take it the extra step, you're going to bounce down to the create and edit access and change it to create items and edit items that were created by the user. It's just that simple. Now you might be asking, why would you want to do something like that? Well, let's say you've got something like a t-shirt sign-up list and maybe Hip Hop Harry doesn't want everybody to know that he's ordering an extra large and maybe Blueberry Bob doesn't want everybody to know that he's ordering a large and Carolina Mike for sure doesn't want to let people know that he is now in an extra large which maybe it might need to be a 2X for Carolina Mike, but don't tell anybody. Um, so if you've got this type of situation and you want to hide the items from the other users, then those are the settings that you need to have on your list. Now, if I were super fancy, I guess I would be able to show you that in action, but for now, you're going to have to trust me just trust me that it works because it does and I've used it several times in production now I can see that we've got at least one other person watching besides me on my main account and if you're out there and you've got a viewer query now is your time to shine and it doesn't have to necessarily be about this particular subject it could be about anything uh, as it relates to SharePoint or Microsoft Teams or Power Automate. And I would gladly run through a demo for you. Alrighty. Well, you know what? I'm going to give you a bonus item. The bonus item is how do you remove that pesky attachment section? So let's say I'm creating a new item. And we've got this attachment section down here, which you probably almost never use okay in that case you can get rid of it here's how you do that yeah you guessed it we're gonna go to list settings and we're gonna go back to advanced and we're gonna scroll you scroll and there is an attachment section right here we can disable that 
and now we're good to go. Of course, we get a little warning, which is nice to have. You might lose some stuff, blah, blah, blah. And we'll click our hyperlink back here. Thanks for popping in. Uh, if you're just popping in, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get your information up front, and then you can stick around for the gory details. And right now I'm going through a bonus, a little bonus tip here, and that's how to uh, eliminate the attachment section. So now when I click new, there we go. Sweet. Alrighty. So now's the point where we would do our viewer viewer ver, ver, viewer queries. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Um, if you're just popping in, we are in the viewer query section of SharePoint in 60 Seconds Live. So if you've got something you want to ask about SharePoint, Power Automate, or Microsoft Teams, or Word Online, Office Online, Excel Online, I may be able to, at the very least, help point you in the right direction. So that's what we're about here. We want to help the SharePoint community and help people get the answers that they need. Um, you know, SharePoint is a very, it's a large, large platform. And it, I mean, it's it touches lots of different things. You know, it, it touches Microsoft Teams. It touches Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Power Automate, Power Apps. So, We'll give it a little bit more, and if we don't get any questions in the chat, then you know what it's going to be time to do. It's going to be time to bring it on home. So we're going to start that transition. Whoa, okay. Let's see here. Let's let's fix that real quick here. Oh, that's a nice image, isn't it? All right. Um, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, we will get it fixed. We can do this. That's the joy of live TV, right? So we're gonna get that out of there. Okay. Properties. It's okay. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's turn it down a little bit. All right. So, we are bringing it on home. And uh, in that bring it home section, we're just going to quickly review what we talked about and give people a chance to uh, pop in their last second question. So the nature of today's session was all about how to make it so that when you have a, a SharePoint list, you can restrict people from seeing other people's items and you could stop them from editing other people's items. And the way you do that is you go into list settings, advanced, and then you change the read settings so that people can only read the items they create and also change the uh, create and edit item so people can create and edit just their own items and no one else's. So that's how we do it. And again, I would like to say thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for rocking with me. We're gonna do these at the very least once a week and we'll continue to have the viewer query section regardless of, of whether anybody actually asks a question or not, we're gonna keep it open and keep keep on pressing until we get our very first question. It'll be it'll be a wonderful day whenever we do get that first comment and that first question. It's coming. I know it's I know it's coming. Um, I'll try and do maybe two two times a week, but we'll for at least we'll at least do one show per week. And with that. I want to say thank you for tuning in. This is Carolina Mike for SharePoint in 60 Seconds Live saying do your best to smile as much as you can. Have as much fun as you can while you are on this great planet. Please go out, like, 
and subscribe and we'll see you next time take it easy y'all